So welcome back and let's get right into this David Ojabo film, uh Edge guy from, from Michigan. And what I'm gonna try to do is this game, which is his best game against Wisconsin, he had two and a half sacks, and I'm gonna try to get the um game versus Georgia and see, you know, how that compares. Good job of being disciplined. Good job of playing the, the, the zone read principle. Keeping the shoulder square, which is good. And now once you realize that the um, quarterback does not have the ball because the quarterback is his responsibility, he goes in and try to make the tackle. He gets a piece of it. Got a little explosion off the ball. He ain't right here. Right here on your screen. Now, at this point, he's in perfect position to, if this was a jet sweep, he could impact that jet sweep. At least make him bow, bow around him. At least make this dude go that way instead of straight down the line. Now, you realize that dude don't got it, don't have it, rather. Get on the quarterback. So two, you know, two fairly explosive plays to start with. Did a good job of getting rid of the running back, but that's a running back. I don't even spend a lot of time on it. Bam! Get, oh, you can't see it anyway. They rolled away from him. You can see him right here, just in case you missed it. This is him right here. Nice little dip. Nice little dip on the uh on the right tackle. See if I can slow it down. The little jump to the outside. First little step on the inside. The jump to the outside. Good being. Gives the tackle his back. Tackle gets his left hand on his back. Right hand is upper shoulder. Upper right that's a win for um fifty five every time. That's a win for 55 every time. Every play is a win for him. Bottom of your screen now. Now, this play right here is, is if you followed me last year, when I talked about edge guys, we talked about how they attack pullers. And in this case right here, and let's, let's go ahead and take the back view of this. If you go back and look at my Aziz Ojalary video, Aziz used to kill pullers. Like, he'd see a puller coming, and he'd just go blow the puller up. This this um particular one right here, I don't think he's wrong sh shouldering it. I think he's trying to box it in, and I'll show you why. And he's probably coached it. Look how he keeps his shoulder square, which is still a good thing. Playing his own read, you know, type schemes. Eyes in the backfield. Now you see that puller come. You see how he braced himself. If he was wrong shouldering it, he'd take this shoulder here and kind of throw it down, but not. He's gonna use this shoulder to take it on and keep his outside on free. So you take it on right there. And now, if anything bounces out this way, he can disengage and try to go make that tackle. And did a good job of not letting a lot of space be in here. He closed down the hole too. Closed down the hole. So never mind this that's going on back here. Did a good job of closing down this hole. So that's a good technique. Good thing he didn't get hurt on that. He got rolled up on. That's a good technique. Again, at the bottom of your screen. A little wild spin move. Let's look at the spin move. So is this a spin move with a twist? Is he purposely spinning with, yeah. So he was the bait on that, I think. I think he was the bait and they thought 15 was going to come three. Come free. Wisconsin did a good job passing it all, so it really didn't affect this play at all.
good job of setting the edge. It's a good job of setting the edge. Where is he? Right here. Good job of setting the edge. Disengage. Find find a ball. Got got his got this shoulder and this arm free. So he anything that tries to pop out here to this C gap, he got it. He got it. Good good uh press right here. I can't tell what that left arm's doing. Oh, that's that's perfect. That's perfect right there. Extension on both arms and this outside, but he got this gap. Great job of setting the edge. Let's take textbook. You can tell he's been coached well. And he takes coaching. I haven't seen anything that oh my goodness. <laughs> I was about to say I haven't seen anything like a flaw technique, but look what just happened. Let's just, we're gonna watch it in full speed first. Mm. Post 65 didn't stand a chance. This is the edge one again. This is the next play. <sighs> 65 didn't stand a chance. Let's see what he did. Mm. That's the the initial come contact comes right now with both hands on his back. Both. So he just hit him with a lit, like a lit crossover move. Didn't really do anything like chop his hands down or didn't do anything with his hands. It's all feet. Feet and bend. All feet. Set you up. Dip my shoulder. If I dip my shoulder and, and give you the back, my back blade, it's wrapped. And look where his hand, he, his hands hit him in the back. Both hands are in his back. Now, so I just got to come flat. Once I get that corner, I just got to come flat, which he does a great job of doing. Textbook the way to play the inside zone. Textbook way to play the inside zone. This is him right here. Watch how he keep his shoulder square until the quarterback, you know, either hands it or gives it. Then he makes his decision. Shoulder square, shoulder square. And now I know his hand is off. Falling down, make the tackle. That's how you play inside zone as a defensive end. All right, now, so this move right here. This is the second time he's tried it, tried this, and he hadn't been successful with his hands on this so far. He swipes and misses. And Sixty just, just punches him. Just punches him and keeps him in front. Swipes and misses. Sixty just punches him and keeps him in front. Got to connect with them hands as a pass rusher. Got to. He does, he's doing a good job so far with his feet. His hands just got to get better with it. Now, he does play with his hands when he's at the edge, though. Like I just play right here. Does play violently with his hands. Press him out again. Look at that. Textbook. Textbook. Press him out. Now, the running back could bounce off here if he want to, but then he got to deal with trying to get away from 55. Good job of setting the edge. Now, your linebackers just got to feel. Linebackers and your other interior guys got a feel. And he got in on the tackle. Didn't realize that. Didn't realize that. He got in on the tackle too. Dipped inside the last second. Right there. Bam. Bam. Mm. Another part of this game. Coverage. Peel off with the running back. He probably had probably had some probably got C gap or a blitz, you know. He probably was gonna blitz if the running back stayed in and blocked. But the running back peeled off. He peeled off with him. Now he didn't didn't have to do much to cover him, so we ain't gonna stick on it too long. Just know that's versatility. Does a great job, and I remember watching this play earlier. Does a great job of closing the gap down and 
and making sure there's nowhere to go, but I don't like the fact that he did this. See how, see how his head ducked? I don't like that. Not only, I don't like it from his standpoint, because that's how you get hurt. The guy's head flat down. That's how you get hurt. But look at what he did to 84. Look at the explosion and the power he, he generated with 84. Closed the whole gap down. He basically made the tackle without making the tackle. Kid looks real explosive. Looks real explosive. Mm. If he don't lose his feet, great pass rush move versus um, Wisconsin. Let me give you an in. Now you, you put your little back foot down, your plant foot, and I'm going to give you out. He can, he's a better job with his hands, though. Look at his hands. Better job with his hands. So he gets the left, the left arm of the tackle off. I just wish he would rip right there at the end. Just rip right there and then go flat. If he don't fall, that's probably another sack. If he don't fall, that's probably another sack. Closing speed. Probably gonna run. Probably is going to run very well too. Probably is going to run very well. Playing the split zone, checking for number six. Cause he know in, in this game right here, he has deep he has the quarterback. So the wrong one. Quarterback comes out here, he got him, which is what's gonna happen. He playing the run first, sees that the quarterback still has the ball. He can he can see this. He can see the ball. So now I'm gonna stop, go get the quarterback. This guy right here, this ain't his responsibility. That's you know, these other cats back here. So now his responsibility is C-gap. The quarterback is now the C-gap player with the ball. Go get it. Forces a throwaway. Now this move is getting repetitive. This third time I saw the same move. Same move. So now it's getting repetitive. They, they didn't, didn't really go for it that time. Got to get in your toolbox. Now, okay, try something different. Okay, try something different. Didn't work, but it tried something different. Watch the spin. But see, he went with the, the chop first and the chop whiffed. The guy hands weren't even out there yet. He, so he's spinning before the guy even punched, which that's why he kind of got blocked. He gave it away too early. He see it, now he's just going to put both his hands in the back of that 55. Happened too fast. Mm -hmm. Tried the same move, but this time tried to take it inside. But I think they doubled him on this one. Let's see. He's right here. Try to slide inside. Oh, there you go. The back helped out. The back helped out. Now the bottom down here. Mm, straight line speed. Unblocked. Unblocked, you got to get there. Unblocked, you got to get there. No real move. Just nothing to see there. He was unblocked. Anybody can do that unblocked. Nothing to add or take away from him because of that. I really like how he plays the inside zone, though, and don't just go chasing. He don't get a quarterback, no. And, and he could obviously, you know, go chase this down because you'd rather, at least I'd rather, have this dude running the ball than him. So he could just fly in there and go chase this down and make him pull it and then have like number two or whatever come down and make the tackle on the quarterback. But he's extremely disciplined on making sure that ball is handed off before he falls up in there. 
And it's, it's up to the other guys to make the tackle. His job is that quarterback. He's extra on the tackle. Oh, okay. In lit coverage. In lit coverage. Let me let me go back a little bit. Let me go back without messing it up. If I can. That's versatility starting to come in. I need to I need to watch calm for this. Make sure I see it all. Come on. I think this is it. I gonna cover eighty four. Not bad with his hips. That's why you gotta plan in reverse. You gotta plan pivot right here. You gotta plan pivot right here. Can he plan pivot? That's what I don't know. Yeah. Kind of looks shaky right there. Then he throws him off. He loses his footing. But that's just one. That's just one time in pass pro. So that's just one time. Hmm. Thirty banged on it. Okay. Now he really got me coverage. Not now. It was a good job of pressing guys out, but I don't see much effort to get off that block though. See right there, he did a good job of pressing him out, but I don't see him trying to get off. Oh, there you go. I do see him getting off. I just saw it late. Basically choked him, choked 65 out. Cause them long arms. Play, I love, play, I love the way he played the inside zone. I love it. It's not his job to make the tackle. He's the extra guy. That one time he decides to haul butt in there, that quarterback gonna pull it and probably get a chunk of yards. Okay, pursue. There you go. I like the pursuit. He kind of got he kind of got mixed up in the screen. Oh, they they cracked him. That's what it is. They cracked him. Get off the crack. Had a job and pursue the ball. There you go. That's a big time play right there. That's a big time play right there. Nice. Covering the swing. Now you're starting to see his versatility. Now you're starting to see 55's versatility. Oh, the speed almost got him. I almost got him with the speed. Let's see what didn't happen. Let's see. He's um here. Let's see if we can go frame by frame. I right, missed that hand. Missed that hand again. Missed it. But he's still because you got one hand on his shoulder, one hand on his helmet. The rip, he won with the rip, because look look how this hand is off now. That hand is on his back, so he, he hit with the rip. He did, he did good with the rip. I think that's what got him by. He just need to dip that shoulder now. 65, got just enough of him to slide him on by. That ain't bad. Not bad. Ain't bad. Just got to finish it off. Got to finish it off. All right, this attacking the puller, okay. Attacking the puller. Let's see how he, how he attacks this puller when he see it coming. Because I don't think he saw that first puller coming. I think it's going to be 74 that's pulling, I think. Yeah. But now you see it coming. I, don't, I just don't like him ducking his head right here. And he stopped his feet. Now, he's strong enough to make a stalemate, though. He definitely strong enough to make a stalemate. Look at that. Neither one of these cats move. It's a great stalemate. That shows you his strength, though. And he understands leverage. Look how he stood the the um, the guy up. Started, stood the guard up. Look at that. Ah. That's great leverage right there. You know, it's an old adage in football, low man win. And they don't move. And when they don't move, it's up to everybody else 
to get in on that tackle. Because all he had to do was condense the hole, which he did. It's, also, it's up for everybody else to, to get in on this tackle. Because the further this lineman moves him this way, the wider the hole is and the running back can hit it and, you know, go that way or that way or just go run over somebody. We're gonna end it with this one right here. Here he is. And this was this was his best game. Still gonna try to find one more to show you. Did a good job with the rip. Ah, I went too far back. Crap. See, let me. We we're, we're still gonna watch it again. Just hold your horses. Yeah, and that's closing the gap down. Got old strip sack. Again, this was his best game now. This was his best game. Let's see what he got. On the left side of your screen, again, 65 again. Good rip. Got the rip way he wanted. The only thing I would say is you want to get that rip and be able to push that hand up. You want to get that rip to where this hand goes up in the air, then you got free reign. To the quarterback, because that's on like this, this, his right, the O line his right hand is already on his back. If if it's if he's successful with this rip and get this this left arm to go straight up in the air, like if this if this hand if he can make that hand go up, he would he already don't stand a chance. But then he can go straight to the quarterback. Then him him kind of having it hooked right there and his hand being able to still kind of be kind of on his chest a little bit is gonna push him further. Past the QB a little bit. But he does a good job of turning. Good job of turning the corner and not allowing him to, to continuously push him up the field. So right now it's over with. It's just like the receiver adage. If, if, if we even, I'm leaving. And at this point, they're even. The defensive end is about to leave. So he didn't get the tackle tackle, but he got the sack, the strip sack. And that's the way of counting the book. And they got the turnover. I really like this dude. I like this dude. So we're going to cut it right here because that's 22 minutes. But I'm going to try to go find some more tape and come back with a part two. Hey, this is Coach Evan with Sifton Tyler Films. I uh, appreciate you guys. This is the first draft video of the season. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share. Hey, it's draft time for us because um, we down bad. <laughs> With the